But the dogs aren't finished yet. As the herd regroups, the pack reforms its skirmish line. And once again, they attack. This time, Light Phase makes a beeline for a young Impala. He and the other dogs chase it toward the road. The commotion even rouses a group of resting lions. Now the Impala herd has to contend with two predators. Roxy closes in from the road, sealing off the Impala's escape route. Then suddenly, she stops. The dogs again abandon the chase but this time they don't reform their lines. They return to the road and head for home. This hunt has been called off for good. In the continuing battle of hunter and hunted, the defenders have won this round. What went wrong for the dogs? Perhaps it's better to ask what went right for the antelope. On the park road, the dogs begin the trek back to their den. They appeared to be executing a perfect skirmish hunt, and yet they came up short. Re-examining the hunt will tell us what went wrong. The answer may lie with the Impala's defensive strategy. Did the dogs lose the element of surprise? Just like dogs, Impala benefit from living in a group. Big, wide-set eyes have a broad field of view. They keep a lookout in all directions. The result is a defensive perimeter around the Impala herd called a flight zone. If any predator approaches this invisible boundary, the impala raise the alarm. Most predators will try to sneak inside the flight zone and surprise the antelope. But dogs are different. They were never trying to be stealthy. They know the antelope will flee and that they'll have to give chase. So surprise was never a factor. Then maybe the dogs were just worn out by a faster opponent. When the dogs charge, the impala scatter to confuse the predators. And a healthy adult impala can usually outrun a dog. They have evolved without collarbones. This adaptation increases the rotation of their shoulders. It gives their front legs an even longer reach and allows them to cover more ground in a stride. A single bound can carry them nine meters. And the Impala pull out another trick. those high arcing jumps. It doesn't help them get away any faster, but it may send a message to the dogs. It advertises their vigor, saying, I'm too fast for you. It works well for the strong Impala. 
but it can betray the weaker ones. Light Phase was able to pinpoint a young Impala who didn't leap, basically saying, come and get me. So the Impala's evasive tactics may have actually helped the dogs select a target. In the first wave of the skirmish, that's all they needed to do. But on the second wave, they were in it for the kill. The skirmish line folds in half behind the Impala. Now there are dogs flanking it on both sides. Success is moments away. So why couldn't the dogs finish the job? This is the culprit. The chase has taken them straight into lion territory. The moment the big cat appears, the dogs stop being predators. Now they're prey. And this one's not alone. Luckily, the lion appears to have no interest in hunting, impala or dog. But the dogs take no chances. For the Impala, two wrongs have made a right. For the dogs, there is the hungry march back to the den. At home, they have more than their own appetites to consider. The pups are waiting. Missing a daily meal brings the threat of dehydration and stunted growth. But the hunters have failed. Although they are the offspring of Roxy and Lightface, the entire pack is concerned for their well-being. Every dog will help feed the pups, and every dog will risk its life to protect them. Even so, Half these pups will probably not reach adulthood. Hunger is a serious threat, but there are others more sinister. Not lions, but something nearly as deadly. Hyenas. It's not the adult dogs they're after. They're looking for a chance to rush in and snatch a helpless pup. These cooperative hunters are just as unified in the defense of their family. Two hyenas don't stand a chance against 10 dogs, and they know it. The pups are still hungry. The Xi'an pack must hunt again, and soon. The next morning at Umfalozi, the Xi'an pack is restless. They're used to eating every day. After yesterday's failure, adults and pups alike are desperate for a meal. They seek out their usual prey once more, but the Impala have moved on. 
They have to be on the lookout for more readily available prey and change their strategy when necessary. They drop into a densely wooded valley near the den. But what they initially find is a little more than they can handle. Black rhino are notoriously bad-tempered, and it's covered in virtual body armor, skin two centimeters thick. They seem reluctant to leave it alone. The rhino bears wounds, perhaps from parasites or an encounter with a lion. The dogs may sense it's in a weakened state. Its nervous reaction triggers the dog's prey response. They're predisposed to give chase to anything that flees. But they'll get nowhere with this opponent. Finally, common sense prevails. Light phase leads them deeper into the thick woods. They're after different prey in different terrain. This calls for a new strategy. One mid-ranking male breaks away from the pack and heads for slightly higher ground. For the first phase of this hunt, he is the scout. He searches for a creature that relies on camouflage. A slight breeze moving up the valley trips his sensitive nose. It's a clue that he's close to what he's looking for. Niala, large forest antelope, are hiding among the trees. They are related to impala, but with a critical difference in behavior. They're usually found in small groups, but males are often solitary, so they lack the impala's extensive surveillance system. The scout's role shifts. He is now the driver, in charge of flushing out the hidden Niala. The rest of the pack waits at the bottom of the hill. The lone dog must locate the prey and drive it down the hill toward the others and into the trap. The dog scans the shadows. 